Hi, my name is John Price. I'm sales and design lead for ECD Automotive Design. Should you buy a D90 versus a 110? Um, it truly comes down to your aesthetic preferences and practical needs. Uh, similar to most of the things, of course, that we do with our defenders. Um, if you're looking for something that is perhaps a little sportier looking, uh, smaller, more compact, uh, perhaps even a bit more fun to drive, um, I'll be leaning towards a D90, um, whether um, again, it's going to be a convertible hardtop or whatnot. It's still a lot of fun to drive. Now, if you have a family and you want to drive around with them, or this will be a daily driver that you use for grocery shopping, um, to go out on excursions with the family and whatnot, then definitely the 110 will have an edge over the D90 in that sense. It all boils down to what the client may need. Um, I'm a little partial to the D90 because I like its compact looks, but if I were to buy one today with two kids, I'd probably go with the 110 simply because I can enjoy it with everyone in there. Another advantage to uh, on the 110 versus the 90, you can get a conventional bench seat in the middle row with three-point harnesses, so it makes it easier if you want to have child seats and things like that. And also we have, of course, the ability to do more storage solutions in the back when you're using that middle row, which you don't have in the 90. All in all, definitely 110, a more practical option. Um, if you're looking for a fun little car for the weekends and uh, have fun with the family, of course, uh, the 90 could be a good option in that case.